One, two. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you again for the invitation, and thank you again for giving me the opportunity to share with you some practical in, uh, insight that we experience uh, managing the dot .post sponsor top-level domain. Uh, I prepared some slides, so I think I have like 10 minutes, so I will go very briefly in, through the presentation. So if you have any question, I'm still around, and we can openly discuss. Um, quick, quick history about uh, dot .post. We, we are what I can uh, used to call a legacy TLD. And I, I just realized again this morning that every time I can say, oh, yeah, there is like 22 legacy TLDs. And every time I do the math, and, and I found 23. Uh, indeed, the dot .post was delegated in, in 2012, August 2012. And more or less at the same period of time, I can delegate it uh, dot triple X. So, but the alchemist is saying, yeah, there is 22 uh, le legacy TLD. So I'm still didn't figure it out if I can. It was more embarrassing to delegate the triple X to the porn industry versus uh, uh, the dot post to an UN agency. This is still something I didn't figure out. Um, joking with that, I joined this uh, project in 2014. Um, so as I said, the, the dot post was delegated in 2012, and the registry agreement was signed in 2009. So the funny thing, when I look at the registry agreement, sometimes it's, it sounds very hysterical, and there is some provisions that you could never imagine we have to comply with. Basically, what we are trying to address, I, I put some key elements here. We want, and our main objective is to be the, uh, the, the main level, the main identity for the postal industry on the internet, and we provide some services to our members, and we would like, indeed, we encourage our members to integrate all their digital postal services under the post. I will go very briefly through that. Uh, I have some flyers, if you are interested in, that because we're actively working on the, on the strategy of dot post. What I would like to share with you now is to say, Every TLD needs strong background for every organization. We get the delegation from ICANN. And this is the same thing for the UPU at the UN agency. So what I'm showing here is the, the, the results of more than a year and a half work to be sure that within the UPU, and we are uh, member countries, we are aligned and we got a common approach of what the dot post is, and to have a one line of thinking. And it takes a lot of time, and I'm sure with your clients, some TLDs from, uh, from cities, uh, geo TLDs, from brand TLDs, I'm sure that you are facing the same situation. At one point, they have to say, OK, we are managing that. What is the real purpose? What is the real strategy behind that? And it's, it's a very important exercise. And, and we did that during 18 months. And we, and we integrate uh, this strategy within the, the whole framework of the UPU. We are aligned with the UPU Vision 2020, innovation, integration, and inclusion. We are in line with the World Postural Strategy. And if you dig it, if you dig, you have the dot post, other products and services for the UN agency. You. Here is the, the, the four strategic goals and the eight programs that we will uh, follow um, for, for this next cycle. Again, I, I show you that because I would like to thank again uh, some members of this great network that we have here uh, within Domain Pulse. Great work, fantastic networkers. I would like to, to, to take 30 seconds to thank again uh, Stefan Bondalas from Dot Swiss. He came to Bern, he explained w w their vision, the way they are using a TLD, and for our members, it was very, very important in terms of education, awareness, because a lot of, a lot of 
countries, regulators, postal operators, didn't really figure it out what is a TLD, what is good for, what the purpose. So thank you again, Stefan. Uh, I remember that um, Richie Mautop came as well from Central NIC. He shared experience from registry, registrar, and domain expansion, and it was very, very beneficial for our, uh, our members. So uh, uh, I would like to thank them publicly right now, and I would like to encourage you, if you're interested, to, 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 to have the floor within one of the next sessions of the, of the UPU, if you're interested, to interact uh, with some um, government members, if you would like to, to explain them, what are you doing, what is important to have a TLD, what, what kind of use you, you're making of your TLD, if you are a registry, if you are a registrar, please, you are more than welcome, and we will really appreciate to have, to have you during one of our next sessions. Um, the, the, the call for paper, the, the organizers the list are a couple of questions that I, I try to address when we submit uh, this uh, call for papers. First of all, we found very, very relevant because the, the, the postal sector is a, is, is, a, is, a, is a network by sense. And more than that, they said we are like a community, and sometimes they said the postal sector, the postal network is like barely like a family. And we found that it was relevant to share some quick insight with you and to, to address the different questions that, uh, that you, 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 you raised. Um, <clears throat> who and what are we connected? Uh, I try to address that, listing the different possibilities. Uh, you will notice that uh, it's very funny because I, 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 I put the internet of, of people. I should maybe put uh, some zombies. It was a very, very good example that we, we heard uh, uh, 20 minutes ago. Um, what I wanted to refer ring to when I put that is more uh, to, to this new dynamic that we, we can see uh, in the internet uh, landscape uh, with some initiative like uh, a new decentralized web initiative uh, launched by Sir Tim Berners-Lee or the Internet of People, new association launched by uh, Vinton Surf. And how the registry, sometimes we have to say, okay, we are registry today, but may and we provide registry services today, but maybe tomorrow we will provide ledger services. Uh, because with this decentralized ledger services, maybe what we are talking today, it will be completely different in four, five, ten years from now. For, from, from the UPU perspective, we address the, the needs and expectations from our members. Our members are countries. You know the things with customs, flag, and anthem, and everything. Um, and we are dealing with postal operators. So basically, each country choose one postal operator. We call that the designated postal operators. And this is those people we are in contact with, and we, are, can, we have the, the, the possibility to, to engage with them and to make them join what we call the dot post group to benefit the, the different services that we try to put on the dot post, and of course to be able to, to, to um, register some domain names on the dot post. Beyond that, beyond these designated postal operators, we have, of course, a lot of public, private, alternative postal logistics, mail services, express services companies, and we need, in a, in a way, we need to, 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 to address that concern and to put them into the loop. That's why we have two different ways to address that. We address the designated postal operators as full members, and we have another status as associate members to interact with every kind of companies uh, of this ecosystem. This is very important because I heard, for, for instance, from, from yesterday, it was a, a way to confront to to, to, to say it because in one hand uh, you had the uh, intergovernmental organization where to deal with, but actually because we try to embrace all the sector in a way we, uh, 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 in a way we're trying to, to, to have this, the same model as, uh, as the multi stakeholderism model and model of governance. So this is a two way we're trying to combine. Uh, it's not that easy. But we need to do that to address the, div the diversity of our, of our sector. 
The second question that you raised was related to the, the networking and the different problems and solutions that we can, uh, and we can provide and to address uh, those, uh, those, um, those issues. Uh, I, I put it there a couple of issue and solution that we try to solve. Of course, in terms of technology, um, we, under DartPost, we try to provide some in tech connectivity and, to, and, and interoperability, so different digital services that the post are providing at their domestic level. In terms of security safety, we provide trust to bring covenants is to, to, to two facets, same coins that we need to, to address simultaneously. And one of the main challenges that we were facing, again, is to have a common approach and one single understanding of what is a top-level domain, the purpose of it, and, uh, and to address the different expectations, because you have no idea about the level of expertise, the level of experience, of capabilities between countries like uh, like, I don't know, Malawi, Tanzania, Cambodia, that we are, on a daily basis, we are dealing with. And of course, some countries like Austria, France, or wherever, that don't really need us to trade the, the, the concern they have. But a lot of, a lot of countries in, in the world need to, to, to have access to a, to a system and to, to get access at a very affordable price to digital services, to, to, to deploy the DNA keys and to get benefits of all the, the security that we can provide, and this is our role. And, uh, and I'm glad that I heard yesterday the ICANN board member, uh, Sherin Chalabi, saying that ICANN is trying to, and is strongly trying to, uh, to address some needs from the, they call that the underserved regions. And this is something that we are trying to do uh, very humbly, very honestly, but on a daily basis. The, the next point was how important are networks. Uh, so I said, or uh, what can I say that I, can, I can provide you to that question? Of course, it's important, but I didn't take that. I have said nothing. I do really think that the internet is at uh, a transitional period for different reasons. Uh, the, the DNS expansion, of course, mobile industry, smartphone, of course, uh, because this new technology around distributed uh, ledger system, blockchain, and everything. So I'm sure that we are at a, at a crossroad. And in a way, managing a TLD, we have to be aware of that, and we have to, to provide some solution to, in our case, to our members, countries, and postal operators. There are viewing dot post as a platform, platform of services. And sometimes when I hear network, for me, I hear community. Network versus community, the reason why I put that. I, I really would like to, 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 to share that idea and to straight that with you. Let's say from the ICANN point of view, with the registry agreement, some of your TLDs, some of your client, clients, sorry, sign um, and apply for a a community-based TLD. OK, you sign your registry agreement. You have your specification. I don't remember which number is, maybe 12 or 13. Or, uh, please consider that a community is not only a TLD-based community. Every TLD, even a brand TLD, it's a community. Because when you will deploy your TLD within your company, some people wanted to have different websites, different ways to communicate, and you can embrace that as a community. This is the same thing for geographic TLD, the same thing for TLD from cities, it's the same thing from uh, new generic top-level domain. It's generic, but you address a community at the end. So that's the reason I put that, ne network and community. The other way I understood network is a network and the platform. And I was saying that uh, previously, some of our countries, they don't really have the, 
the capabilities. So we are providing them with capabilities building. We're providing them with some standard services, uh, web present, uh, web presence. Sorry, uh, um, e-shops, standard email address. Something that a lot of countries couldn't really have the capability to put that in place concretely uh, at the domestic level. The, the last point was related to where does the network takes place. So basically, we at the postal operators, we have one foot on the, on the ground, the offline, and another one online. And we try and the dot post to mix the two. And, and I, I will uh, briefly conclude to say that it leaves some complexity in terms of if you have one foot in one world and another world, you have to deal with what we, are what we are here about, like ubiquity and ubiquitous services, and it leads to data and how to manage those data. And I will click quickly conclude uh, with a couple of ideas. Uh, this presentation, I think, will be online, so I think everyone could, uh, could, uh, could get access to. Uh, I'm around if you have any other questions. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, great network and fantastic networkers. Thank you again.